you hear the words national championship or national champions and East Mississippi in the same sentence, what is your first reaction? Never thought it would ever happen. <laughs> Final 35 seconds of the season. We're out of the timeout. And out of timeout, there's one of Western. Spot of the football will be their own 44 near hash. They're going to empty the backfield and go with five wide. And he's right back. He's inside the 40 yard line. Coming in to make the stop. Damian Jacobs, also number 91 in on the play. Antonio Wells, clock is rolling 23. Fourth down. It's fourth down. Kaufman will get everything set. Spot of the football to 37. He has the snap. Back to pass. Just unloads. Deep down the right sideline. And it is going to go. The NFC National Champions, EMCC. When they said national champions, and I was watching, I didn't get to go because we had session and stuff like that, I didn't get to go. But when they said national champions, just like I'm feeling right now, chill bumps went up me. Now that's a, that's a, that's a heck of an accomplishment for a little small community college, what I call them junior colleges still, in uh, Scuba, Mississippi. That's something. Back to pass, firing it over the middle, and it is intercepted! Intercepted! intercepted. Anthony Hines, he brings it out to the 10-yard line. He's there at the 20. Hold on to the football, son. Just go down. He's at the 30th down. It's over. EMCC, your 2009 state champions. Well, it's something that's hard to imagine from where they were to where they are now. A little school like this, out in the wilderness, so to speak, and and uh, and and it's come together like they did with great coaching and you know and great leadership. It was just. It was great, it was absolutely great. Their prayers have been answered. It has finally happened. A national championship trophy will now go in to the trophy case in the athletic department in Scuba. Well, that makes you feel proud. I mean, uh, Coach Sullivan, if he's here now, you know, he that was his ultimate goal to, to win a national championship. We did it. I brought a ring to the city. We got it. They can't say we can't do it because we did it. I know how much it means to our alumni uh, to be successful, and it's meant so much to them to win state championships finally and uh, to compete nationally, and I know how proud our alumni are, our, our administration is, and that's something that's very satisfying to me and our coaching staff. It hasn't been that long ago that uh, East Miss was the team or the college that everyone wanted to play on homecoming and you know we were a non-contender. See how happy and how emotional they were. It was pretty emotional for former players. I'm sure I can speak for most of the former players. And then to be able to go out to, uh, uh, to Yuma and uh, watch them play out there was just uh, phenomenal. Uh, Matt, listen, the only thing I worry about Coach Stevens is I know there's people all over this country wanting him right now. And I don't want him to leave, but you know he's a young man, he's got a lot of talent. And, uh, and I don't like it, but I don't want him to leave. And uh, if he asks me for a resume, I'm going to really trash it up good. Let's go get some more. Let's go get, let's go get hit the recruiting trail and, uh, and let's, uh, let's recruit some better athletes and, uh, uh, than everybody else has got. Tired of being an armchair quarterback? Then be a part of the action. Put your college football smarts to the test. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Enter on Fox 30's Facebook page, and you could win a weekly prize pack. Plus, the local overall winner receives a 39-inch flat screen from Cowboy Maloney's. And if you really know college football, you could win a trip for two to Hawaii. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Brought to you locally by Popeye's, Village Jewelry and Sports, and Little Caesars Pizza.
adjusted to life as a national champion yet, or have you already put it past you? No, that that got that got over with quick, especially during recruiting season. You know, it, it just you just can't roll your hat or your your helmet out to uh, and people will sign with you. We've got a lot of work to do, and we've been working hard this summer. The kids have been working hard, uh, been getting their grades, and uh, and and in the weight room and running. Uh, so. Uh, I don't think anybody's taking it for granted. You know, national championship's over. It's done. They can't take it away from us, I don't think. So uh, we're, we're, we're uh, looking to uh, uh, do the very best we can this year, and hopefully we'll, we'll put us in a position to uh, compete for a national championship. This team has a new identity and uh, its own special skill sets, and uh, I fully believe that they can do everything that the team did last year. Set, hit, turn over, turn over, good job. Uh, you know, a lot of guys getting sir, acclimated to the heat and, and running and getting in condition. Right now, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to speed the game up a little bit for them and and let's go a little faster in some of the things that we're doing. Um, good job, good job. Guys struggling a little bit, you know, coming back off of about a four or five day layoff, and uh, it, but it's going it's going well. We, uh, first day was uh, second day. We got a lot better. And uh, we just want to build off each day. Well, we're here at Channel 27. We have here Billy Shedd from the East, East Mississippi Lions. What, right now, I'm going to ask him a couple questions about the season. OK, Billy. What's up? This year, what are your expectations for the team? Expectations, uh, you know, first thing, first thing on our mind is get a repeat. But we got to take it a game at a time. You know, come out to practice, work hard, you know. The daily, daily process. Everybody's tired of, of doing seven on seven. Everybody's tired of just not being able to knock the crap out of each other. So I think we'll see a lot of uh, a lot of hitting tomorrow morning. Really excited about that and, and, and a chance to to start working on improvement. Oh, it's home! I said it's home! It's home! Speed, speed, fast, deep right, deep right, deep right. Ready? Army! Hey, Good job! Hey, guys! Hey! It's live! Turn, run, 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 run! Good job. Uh, I see you. Let's go. Good hit, baby. All right, guys are just knocking a slob right at each other, and they, uh, they're, they're, they're running around. That We got big, strong, fast athletes. Take it down. Here we go. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. No, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? We, we know how to move fast. We like Ricky Bobby, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Go fast. <laughs> Turn over! It comes, point! It comes! Go, go, go! Run! No, it does need to slow down. It always needs to slow down. I wish we had 24 more, but I don't think the play, I don't think we'd have a team if we had 24 more. I think the game's getting here about the right time. Let's, do it. let's, put, let's let Paul River hear it, baby. Blood, make the crowd go! Blood, make the crowd go! One thing now! One thing now! One thing now! One thing now! Kill, kill! kill. Lines on three, caps on six! One, two, three! Line. Four, five, six! Yeah. Tired of being an armchair quarterback? Then be a part of the action. Put your college football smarts to the test. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Enter on Fox 30's Facebook page, and you could win a weekly prize pack. Plus, the local overall winner receives a 39-inch flat screen from Cowboy Maloney's. And if you really know college football, you could win a trip for two to Hawaii. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Brought to you locally by Popeyes, Village Jewelry and Sports, and Little Caesars Pizza. Look at Jacquez Johnson. I think he's a I think he's a true drop back guy. No one does the fade better than Johnson to Miles, of course. He's a bigger kid, so he gives you the ability to run him a little bit and do some things that he can do. And he's not afraid to pull the ball down and, and take off and run when he needs to. Jacquez Johnson on the QB draw for 20 yards and the first down for Quez. You know what? He's a guy that has great leadership skills. And I like this about the kid. He's walking up and down the sideline saying, I got it. We're good. I mean, it's tough, but. Like I said one day to one of my friends, I grew up in a household where it was with four SEC athletes in front of me. My mother played basketball at Ole Miss. I had an uncle play NFL, uncle played baseball and, and pros. I mean, it, it really wasn't hard. It's not as much pressure as people think because I had that pressure all my life. He knew when he came here after Randall and then he knew with Brad following, of course that's before Bo was here, but he knew we had already had three All-Americans in a row, or two All-Americans three straight years that had been some form of an All-American. So 
Uh, no, I, I think he understood that from the beginning, and I think now he just wants to be the next one. Bo Wallace was the quarterback of uh, the team last year. Uh, Quez Johnson is the quarterback this year, and it's his team, and we're going to let him go with it. And, you know, we really don't, don't make comparisons. Caleb, what's up, baby? Lion pride, baby. It was pretty hard. It was my first time ever just not being on the field when I was playing. So it was tough, but I, I got through it. I learned the reason why coaches call certain plays, and I learned – the, just the different things of being a quarterback and a football player, period, just the mental part. I think it's tough any time you get any kid that has to set out that's used to being the big fish and then he comes in and he kind of fits in with everybody but uh, doesn't maybe play as much as, as, as he likes. So he, he's done a great job with handling himself and how he's, how he's positioned himself from week to week and I think he's, I think he's going to be a guy that's going to give us a chance to be successful. First play that Oh, I feel like I'm running through whoever it is. I mean, they have no chance of making the tackle. I want him to play football. You know, if an injury occurs with how he plays, it's just the way it was. But, uh, you know, he's, he's 230 pounds, so he can, he can deliver a beating. He doesn't slide. He refuses to slide. I mean, I would love to say that he's going to slide. Co Coach Stevens got on to him about that the other day and was talking to him. And Quez looked at me and said, Coach, I'm going to try to work on that in practice. But I thought that's in practice. He's going to try to work on that in practice. He's probably not going to do it in a game. I, mean, I play baseball. I know how to slide. But on a football field, the slide don't cross my mind at all. He's about on the same. Uh, he's about on the same uh, parallel as Bo was last year. I really think he is. I mean, you know, this time last year we were, oh God, you know, we, we got to go find another quarterback <laughs> because we didn't know if Bo could do it. And then uh, lo and behold, you know, I think our, our the key to our success is to make sure that uh, uh, we practice uh, uh, our offense practices against the defense that's better than anybody we're going to play, and our defense practices against an offense that's better than anybody they're going to play, and that makes us all better. So that when we get to a ball game, we kind of slow down. So I think you'll see him. Uh, his accuracy has, has been good. I think you'll see it better in the ball game. Right here, remember? Right there. Set for it. See that line in front of it? Right there. Just kicking it. You know. What do you think of the new uniforms? Oh, yeah. You know, we stay fresh. Fresh to death. You feel me? You see? You see the 88? You see the Nike sign? You feel me? We're going hard this year, baby. Tell you. How do you feel to win the national championship, sir? A man, a month ago, man. <laughs> Why did you change your number from 9 to 7? Uh... Everybody looking at me, man. It's Tyler, what do you think about the uniforms? Uh, they're pretty fresh. I'm, I personally like the socks. Yeah. Beast, beasting up, beast mode. Are those the uh, official shoes for this year also? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like my shoes, too? <laughs> oh, it's just my style. Yeah, Coach, you got you to gotta sing them a song, Coach. got to give them a little song. Put some of that old school, Coach, Coach. Put some of that old school music. Hey! <laughs> that ain't old school, Coach. Yeah. Can you tell them about your career? It was great. Does your mama know what you're doing? <laughs> Orange ass. Defensive. <laughs> you're right. Frank Richardson, New Hope High School. Dang. Lauderdale High School, Meridian, Mississippi. For sure. What the hell? <laughs> yeah! Cody DeForest, 601, A5. Three. <laughs> <laughs> August 30th, tune in. Tired of being an armchair quarterback? Then be a part of the action. Put your college football smarts to the test. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Enter on Fox 30's Facebook page, and you could win a weekly prize pack. Plus, the local overall winner receives a 39-inch flat screen from Cowboy Maloney's. And if you really know college football, you could win a trip for two to Hawaii. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Brought to you locally by Popeyes, Village Jewelry and Sports, and Little Caesars Pizza. The pressure is greater than it was before because you want to do again what you did last year. It's very difficult to do that in this league. Well, you know, they were really good football players last year and brought a lot to this team. And, you know, right now I'm trying to build a culture with these young men to teach them how to work, you know, and what to do, and, you know, how to carry themselves. You know, that's the biggest thing right now. Christian, I need you to make that play! Oh, yeah! Hey, wait, come back. That a boy. That a boy. Turn it over. Oh! Score! Score! Touchdown, baby! All right! Touchdown! 
Well, I think we recruited well, and we had some, some players that were in the rotation last year that have stepped up their game. Uh, they've improved in the off season in the summer program and are now prepared to play. We had some 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 transfers that came in from prep school and from four year that have added immediate uh, you know immediate talent to the pool. There's always things you can do better. You know they say your your greatest improvement is between week one and week two. So if there's still improvement to be made, they're not ready. So I don't think they're ever ready. Ready. I mean, of course, I guess that's, that's you know we try to be perfectionists about it, and um, I think they're I think they're ready to hit on somebody else other than themselves. Let's go, turn it up, D. Let's go, baby. Well, you know the guys can fly around. Anytime you fly around, you make things happen. You know, and it's like I tell guys all the time. People can't judge your heart. You know, that film doesn't lie. When they see you flying around and doing some things, it can make you pretty nervous. I, f I feel the pressure every game. Uh, I, I get uh, uh, very anxious. Uh, I never uh, take it for granted that we're going to win a game because I've been through all the years when we didn't. And uh, when we almost did, and uh, for whatever reason, uh, you know, it, it just didn't happen for us. About two weeks beforehand, I was sitting and I just had a premonition, I guess, and, and I had a calmness come over me that our guys are confident, our guys were going to play hard, and we're, we've coached them up. I hadn't had that calmness. Uh, we got a very young bunch, you know, uh, a, a very bunch of young guys that uh, um, that, are, that still have some things to prove to themselves and to us. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, leadership back from last year, absolutely, but we still have some guys that are young and unproven and in some very key positions. So I'm apprehensive and excited about finding out where we are there. Uh, no calmness yet. Uh, the calmness, I guess, comes from the, right now is that, hey, the hay's in the barn. There's nothing else we can do. Um, we've got done what we, what we can get done before the ball game. So uh, I'm excited to see uh, kind of where we are. That's why I was thinking, what is this? Why bring something for Meridian? Go, let's go to Knoxville and bring some wild things. Oh yeah, I had to, uh, I don't let J.J. make it or anything, I had to make him mad every chance I get. So the first time he said it, I told him it was lame, he don't need to do it no more. <laughs> what say now? What say now? What say now? What say now? Actually, we had that at Meridian in high school. Kill, kill. <laughs> yeah, I was, you know, I, I never thought it had been that big. You know, I thought it would just stay within the team, but you know, it's, it's just fun when your fans and cheerleaders are doing it too. Well, I didn't think it was going to take off like it did, but I'm glad it did. Every time we said it after that, it gave me a little shield down my body. I was ready to go. <laughs> we thought that uh, bring it here, I mean, they knocked out South of Nolan in the state championship game. History made there, so uh, bring it here. Let's make a little history here. Tired of being an armchair quarterback? Then be a part of the action. Put your college football smarts to the test. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Enter on Fox 30's Facebook page, and you could win a weekly prize pack. Plus, the local overall winner receives a 39-inch flat screen from Cowboy Maloney's. And if you really know college football, you could win a trip for two to Hawaii. Play Fox 30's Top 15 College You Pick'em. Brought to you locally by Popeyes, Village Jewelry and Sports, and Little Caesars Pizza. Do you want the hurricane to uh, delay the game? No, it, it needs to just hold off until Friday morning so we can spread the ball around, have a little fun Thursday night. We should expect about six to nine inches of rain. Uh, we have a 40% chance of tropical storm force winds. I talked to uh, Dr. William Lewis, president of Pearl River Community College last Sunday, as a matter of fact. and. Uh, uh, having known what they had gone through with Katrina, and we know firsthand because we sent people down to work with the, our, our brothers and sisters at uh, Pearl River Community College. So we knew that they were in a very uh, uh, precarious uh, situation and that uh, uh, things would uh, not be normal for them. It turns out that Jim Southward asked the community colleges to move uh, the date to Saturday. And since then, they've had discussions, and Dr. Young's had discussions with William Lewis at Pearl River. So our game will be on Saturday uh, at 2 o'clock. You know, we just need to decide what 
some of the things are going to continue as planned and which things will not. We talked and uh, always when you make a decision such as this, you, you try to make it uh, in, a, in a way that uh, it is, um, you take in consideration the health and uh, welfare of your students, your student athletes. Everything in the state is now Saturday at two? All of them so far. Well, except, I guess, except for one, except for East Central. All of them have been moved to Saturday. They're just at different times. We did look at uh, maybe putting the game, uh, moving it to the end of the season, but uh, on second, uh, as we looked at it again, we found that uh, the end of the season did not allow enough time for that. So it was a situation where we had to play it, uh, uh, reschedule it, the sooner the better, and uh, uh, play the game and, and move on with the schedule. I think we have a basic plan, and um, you know, we'll, we'll find out what's happening more tonight, and we'll just stay on weather alert. <laughs> it's okay, I mean, I, I, could, I could go for, you know, 15, 20 more days, uh, but I don't think the guys could. The guys are, the guys are ready to play. They're, 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 they're tired of hitting on each other. I'm tired of watching them get hit on each other. So they're ready to play. Well, I think, I think again, it gets down to kids being ready to play and patient to play, but at the same time, it, you know, you take it as a positive that you can get injured players rested up, you can get them healthy, uh, your players can kind of get the shoulder pads off those shoulders and the, and the cleats off their feet for a day or two. And, and uh, so, you know, it, it can be good or bad either way you look at it. We always look at it as positive for extra preparation and rest. Champions!